Good day, good people. Phaedra Dion here. Thank you for joining me for another video on the SBG Tubes YouTube channel. I wanted to make this short video to talk about the contour button. I noticed the last time I made a video that I once again talked about the contour button being grayed out and why that was so. And I just wanted to make this short video to kind of pull that one thing out of those other videos to focus just on why your contour button may be disabled or other people say grayed out. So let's go in to Cricut Design Space. I'm in Cricut Design Space. I am going to go to Canvas. I'm going to go to Images. Browse all images. Filter by free. I'm going to search for the heart mandala and I'll click it to load it up and then I'll add it to my canvas. Now notice that my contour button down here at the bottom right is grayed out. If I click on the yellow part of the heart mandala, my contour button is still grayed out. Basically because there's nothing to contour. But if I click on heart mandala basic cut, notice that it becomes active. That's because there's something in here to contour out so I can hide all contours or I can pick the things that I want to fill in. So basically what you're doing is when you hide a contour, you're telling the Cricut machine that you don't want it to cut that part out or you're saying to print and cut that you want that to be solid. So you can do all, some, or none. So if I choose hide all con contours, so that I can reset, then I'll just say show all contours and I'll click away. If I change this to a print and cut, my contour button will stay disabled even if there's something to contour. So I will duplicate this layer and because it is print and cut, my contour button will stay disabled or grayed out. But if I turn it into anything other than print and cut, then I will get my contour back. If I go to pen, I will still see my contour button because there are empty spaces that the pen won't draw. If I go to foil, whether I pick fine, medium, or bold, my contour button will still be active because there are areas that will not be foiled. So if I go here to contour and I choose hide all contours, and then I click away, my heart becomes solid. And I'll click my back button and click on my heart again. And even if I do score, all of these areas will not be scored. So that's why I get my contour button and I can hide certain contours and then those areas will not be scored. I'm going to change my machine to Cricut Maker 3, and I get the wavy and the perforated cut. The wavy cut, I still get my contour. If it's perforated, I still get my contour. If I go to the flat layer of the heart, no contour button because there's nothing to fill in. If I go back here and deboss, you'll see that I still have my contour button. And if I engrave, I still have my contour button. Again, because there are little pieces that are there to be contoured out. So if you don't see your contour button, it is either because there is print and cut or there's nothing to contour out. So now this is a basic cut. You can see I still don't have my contour button. If you have questions, leave me a comment. If you need help, leave me a comment. And if you just have a comment, leave me a comment. And thank you so much for watching.